Hello and welcome to Science Everywhere. Soaps. We use them every day. But how do they work? Soaps are long chain sodium or potassium fatty acid salts which are made by a process known as saponification. Saponification is the formation of soap by the reaction of fats and water. Soap molecules have a long chain followed by a head. The chain attracts the oil while the head attracts water. The technical terms are hydrophobic end and hydrophilic end respectively. We all have tried mixing oil and water in a beaker, haven't we? But they don't mix. Hence, the stain of oil on your clothes or on your hands cannot be washed with only water because water attracts water and not oil. What soap does is that it traps the oil particle inside a water particle so that it can be washed with water. Soap basically acts as an emulsifier. An emulsifier is a substance that is used to mix two immiscible substances. Now let's see what happens at the molecular level. The long chain attracts the oils while the short head attracts the water particle. Consequently, a very large number of such molecules come together to form a globular structure known as a micelle. The micelle has the water particles on the outside while the oil particle is isolated on the inside of the micelle. Now, once the oil particle is isolated, this can be easily washed off with water because, you know, water rinses water off and not oil. What soaps do is that they also act as surfactants, that is, they reduce the surface tension of water by acting as an impurity so that the water can seep into the small crevices of your fabric for increased cleansing action. So, now we know how soaps work, apart from the fact that modern soaps also have chemicals, perfumes and even oils added in them for some extra benefits. If you like this video, give it a like, share it and also comment what you would like to see next and subscribe for some more awesome science.